My name is Sandra Garcia and I'm a senior and my project is on adult illiteracy in Cumberland County and I just want to explore the number of adults in the county that haven't graduated from high school and who are functionally illiterate. We are losing ground on the battle for literacy. Each year the rate of illiteracy increases and it will continue to do so without your help. Reading is a very fresh way to learn. Poverty, low income. Being unable to read to your children. Poverty, low income. Causes shame. Poverty, low income. Poverty, low income. Being unable to read to your children. Poverty, low income. Causes shame. Poverty, low income. They're unemployable. 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 money so he left school and lied about his age and um, got a job as a school bus driver which is what he still does today. But yeah I don't I don't think I really noticed that my dad had issues with reading and writing until until middle school, which is when he started like asking me to help him out with things. I think most people define that as the ability to uh, read, write, and communicate, speak uh, a language effectively. Um, usually the level of um, effectiveness is third or fourth grade, sometimes fifth grade, so it's, it's a minimal level. He is a very, very smart person, and he has very strong, very good opinions, and he, uh, he presents them and protects them well, but he has issues reading sometimes. Usually, and again, everybody has their own definitions, but uh, illiteracy is not being able to uh, read, write, or speak. Illiteracy is the inability to read or compute to their potential. Specifically, it's inability to read or, or to write, but I'd say reading or computing and to their potential. We have many other challenges that uh, low-income uh, individuals have. Uh, they're l less likely to be a good uh, parent. They're l less likely to have employment. Uh, they're th less likely to be involved in their community. My mom finished high school. She didn't go to, get to go to college right away because she had my sister, but she w ended up going to nursing school. Um, so she's she's a nurse, and um, she helped me as much as she could with um, my schoolwork. It is literacy that causes them to be unable to function effectively in society. Someone uh, who is not able to effectively conduct themselves uh, on, a, on a job. Um, in the workplace, they would get a friend to tell them what a certain instruction meant or a sign or help them uh, fill something out and no one else would know. Harder, but also it just makes you more ingenuitive, I think, when you have to figure things out in a different way. Well, there's ways of hiding it, you can cope, and ways of surviving. It's survival of the fittest, and they figure out how to survive and get by with their illiteracy. So I would say they're functional, but they're still illiterate, and that's where it really hurts, is when you don't have independence. 
often when I go home, he, he has a whole bunch of lists of things for me to write for him to, to his boss, so I write a lot of his letters. He asked me once to write him a booklet on how to write checks. I made a list of all the numbers, like 88, and they're, they're all listed there so that he can copy them. The U.S. Department of Labor statistics show how continuing education can bring in a bigger paycheck. For instance, a high school graduate will earn an average of $595 a week, $176 more than someone without a diploma. An associate's degree brings weekly earnings up to $721 a week. That's a $302 increase. Our program manager told me of one story of an individual who um, really had uh, not any uh, significant direction in their life. Uh, they came, participated in our program, and said they are just so happy. It's changed their life so much. Uh, they were buying uh, a, a trailer, and it, it was their first home. Not only did it change her life, but she said uh, her boyfriend uh, was inspired by what she did. He went and got his driver's license. Now he's fully employed as a truck driver and uh, they're hoping to save money to, to buy a house. I went to college and there are people whose parents, you know, had PhDs and this and the other thing and they were, you know, talking about things that, you know, they have these, these discussions with their parents about this and the other thing and that just wasn't something that we really did. At, at one point I felt like I was lacking in that way, but, you know, growing and, and recognizing that my parents are amazing people and they gave me a lot in other ways are very um, encouraging and I think because they didn't maybe have the educational experience that they really wanted, they really encouraged that for me and my brother. organizations that uh, need to do a lot more. We're, we're really trying to do our part to catch those that have not gotten uh, the education throughout uh, their youth and they come to us as adults. Uh, they still have that ability to learn and uh, we're here to help them do that. As a community-based nonprofit, a lot of that is to uh, raise funds from individuals, businesses, and private foundations as well as uh, competitive government grants. And uh, so that's a significant responsibility. Certainly talented and uh, dedicated and motivated employees with the facilities to make sure that they're uh, suitable for our students, that they feel welcomed here, uh, that they get uh, a sense of accomplishment here, and uh, that we work hard at trying to do that. GED. Why do you want to get your GED? Because I have to, uh, for the company that's uh, from Parents Works, that I have to have my GED. And one of our students uh, was unable to read to his children until recently. He has a high school diploma, uh, but unfortunately, uh, never learned to read or write married children employed, a good uh, family person. He has been with us for a number of years now. He's really progressed in his level of literacy, uh, but came to us because he wanted to have uh, set a better example for his children. He's gotten to the point now that he can actually read to his children. His children are in their late 20s and 30s. It was a couple of weeks ago he was engaged in a campaign with us and he actually went to the schools in Carlisle and in Plainfield and read to some of the classes from one of these children's books, Toy Story. That because uh, of his ability now, he wanted to be one of those readers in that school. In practice for that event, he read this book to his children, again, children, in their 30s and it brought tears to their eyes because finally dad was actually able to read to 